It's early December and winter has descended on the Norwegian capital city, Oslo. But as the days get ever shorter, the city is brightened up with festive decorations. This portal of lights provides a fantastic welcome to the Christmas market and a focal point for the city's winter light displays. One thing that's often missing from Oslo's Christmas celebrations in December can be snow. While there has been snowfall this year, you need to head to the hills to see it in any meaningful amount on the ground. It's well worth the trip on the city's metro up to the Holmenkollen ski jump or to Frognesetren for the views of Oslo as well as the snow. At the heart of downtown Oslo, the Grand Hotel on Karl Johansgata is adorned with winter lights. In contrast with many countries, Scandinavian Christmas lights tend to mostly consist of white or yellow light rather than bright colours. The same is true on Christmas trees, such as the one outside the Grand Hotel and the Norwegian Parliament. Inside the foyer of the Grand Hotel is this impressive gingerbread version of the iconic building. Two of the hotel's first-year apprentices spent a combined 80 hours putting it all together from just gingerbread and sugar. Oslo's take on the traditional Scandinavian Christmas market features a popular ice rink at its centre, traditional carnival rides and plenty of opportunities to indulge in food and drink. Named Jul i Vinterland, Christmas in Winterland, the city's main market is held on Karl Johansgata between the Norwegian Parliament and the National Theatre. Traditional Norwegian food with a festive twist is available alongside international favourites, so you're well catered for whether you want to tuck into a moose burger, a bag of warm roasted almonds or sugar covered churros. The Christmas market is open daily until 8pm, later on Fridays and Saturdays, and stays open until New Year's Day, although it is closed on Christmas Eve. The giant Christmas tree is back inside Oslo Central Station, and unlike many of the others in the city, it's one of the most colourful ones in Norway. There are other decorations dotted around the station concourses, including this bright train, which appears to be transporting some of Santa's gifts. A visit to the Vigeland Sculpture Park is a must at any time of the year in Oslo, but there is a very special atmosphere during the winter. There are few decorations, but the dusting of snow adds a new perspective on many of the sculptures. While the famous monolith is largely ice-free, the steps to get there can be a little slippery, so do take care when visiting. The partly ice-covered lake is another reminder of the season. A walk around the perimeter, usually busy at other times of the year, is now reserved for only the keenest of local dog walkers. This is the Oslo Tree. The year-round modern art installation behind Schufelman Waterfront Development isn't a Christmas decoration, but the ever-changing colours on the artificial tree add a festive touch to the commercial district. Standing almost 46 feet high, the tree's lights are dimmed at night so the best time to appreciate the artwork is in the early evening, by which time the sun has long since set on the Norwegian capital in the winter. A handful of other decorations can be found nearby in Schuholmen and Arkebrigge, including this brightly lit Christmas tree bauble. It's a popular selfie spot. With its bustling Christmas market and quieter tourist attractions, including Vigeland Park and the Opera House, the run-up to Christmas in Oslo could be the perfect time for you to visit Norway's capital. Just wrap up warm, as temperatures will likely be below freezing throughout December. Thanks for watching.